Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Welcome back, it is day 36 everybody, I'm about to dive right on in as usual here. There's a few things I could do with talking about just at the top of today and we actually need some more ruby necklaces to enchant so I will have to remember to do that at some point because we've only got this one last charge. The most important thing to say off the start of the day is we are going back to the wilderness agility course and that will explain why I am in such a haste to get on with things efficiently and not get bogged down in discussion while I'm trying to think about my farm runs. Oh, I'm going to check these trees as well. I'm not going to do the ones in Fortis just yet. We're already 50 anyway, so it's there whenever we want to go and click on it, but it won't be today because try and get all this done as quick as possible. So yes, we are going back to the Wilderness Agility course today. I'm going to send another full day there. And there's a reason why I did a bit of thinking. I've been talking a lot recently about a specific quest that I'm planning to do for Regicide. And I thought I'm going to do that tonight. And then I started looking at it. And I thought, this is going to take at least a day, maybe more, who knows, honestly, maybe more than a day. You have to go through the underground pass twice, one time carrying something heavy, which means you're more likely to fail. And the reward at the end is just 13,000 agility experience, which is about a third of what we get in a day at the Wilderness Agility course. So I'm going to be getting about three times as much XP just by running laps previously in the past any excuse to get 13k agility xp without running laps i'm taking it but right now I'm, i don't actually hit agility training at this level which is wild to me but because i don't hate it and it's it's really efficient and you make money while you're doing it like good money and yeah there's always the risk that i get pk'd but so far it hasn't happened and i feel like it's relatively unpopular to PK there from what I've seen. I've seen one person and they only hopped through for a second so I don't know what they were looking for but it wasn't me. So yeah instead of wasting an entire day on 13k I am gonna just go back and spend another day making money while we get much better experience rates. Oh fuck I don't have my dream and stuff. It's a good job I noticed when I went to teleport rather than running all the way to the fairy ring. I can just go to the bank here, it's not too far. Alright, relatively quick farm run achieved was full haul, no deaths. Not the best haul, but it's what it is. I already banked most of them, obviously, when I got the drum and stuff. Get our staffs real quick, and then we will move straight onto the agility course. So I am just going to make sure I get some ruby necklaces as well. We'll still need to enchant them, of course. Lovely stuff. We want ice plateau teleports. I'm going to take my tickets with me and just train them in straight away. May as well get a bunch of value because it'll lower our fail rate. We want some summer pies as well. Five, six is around the right amount. I think that's everything we know. Oh, we need a knife as well to get into Mage Bank, and we want our gear on. 
All right, let's go. Don't see anybody. Oh. Never mind, I do see somebody, but it's level three, so... I think I'm just gonna go straight in with the preserve, actually. Did bring a single dose of Blighted Super. Right, we're gonna redeem, and then we're gonna pay. Look at that, we just gotta level off the bat. What a good start. <laughs> we're looking at 1.3 mil an hour. Oh yeah, baby. Need to get that all retaliate off. That's the thing between uh, between this and Sulfonagua. We have all retaliate on at one or off at the other. So I'm gonna have to keep remembering that. Yeah, that guy is level three. It is just a skiller. Click and die. So I'm guessing he's got main ready to log on. I just saw somebody then. Hope he's not a scout. Everyone I've met so far out here has been friendly. Yeah, there's someone there. The fuck? On the stein to run it. Nice. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go out and hop. Because I don't trust this world right now. Okay, hopefully this is a bit safer. I mean, it could just be somebody that's hopping through right now. So maybe it's just not a good time because there's somebody here tonight. But I have a feeling it was something to do with that other guy. Why do I keep feeling this so much today? What is going on? Maybe it's pu there's like a plugin that tells you when somebody looks you up or something. Oh my gosh. I lost my entry fee as well, didn't I? Why is this guy here? Okay, folks, I've changed my mind on today's course of plan. I don't trust this right now. There's a PK right there with three keys. This is not good right now. Oh, what's going on? Because the world's actually dead, so I don't know why tonight there's PKs here. Maybe they're looking for me. I ain't gonna let them find me though. Shit, what am I gonna do instead then? Am I gonna go do Regicide? I could just go do some attack training. Oh, so I just wasted 150k. That kind of sucks. I kind of fucked myself there. I didn't even think about it when I left. I was just like, I need to get away from this person, but... Oh, fuck. Now I'm floundering. Yeah, I'm not doing fucking Regicide. What am I talking about? I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go and get my two attack levels so that we can start our defender grind. Maybe I should have stood my ground a bit more and just stuck around, but I didn't want to pay an extra 150k, and as soon as I realised that I'd lost it, it was like, oh, shit. That was multiple different people in multiple different worlds in the same area. So I feel like it's just a bit hot right now. All right, well, we're just going to pretend that we never even went to the agility course today. I just had a really slow birds and herbs run, and it somehow resulted in a loss of money. To be fair, it's probably profit over the day still. I think we had like 800k when we logged in, but that was very disappointing. I can't tell if I'm just a pussy, and I was actually fine, but in comparison to overnights, that was giving me like... Crazy what the fucks. Right then, we are back to it. Got both my weapons on attack. Or retaliate is back on. We're gonna dump some specs for the quick kill and then get to Alkin. Now with a plus 15 strength boost from that potion, of course. But we're trading attack now. We're going to 63 attack. I suppose if nothing else, we did get an agility level today. <laughs> At least we got a level before we lost the car, left the course. I just kind of wish we hadn't paid the 150k entry fee for two laps worth of loot. I don't even know what those two laps were. I didn't even look at them. I was too busy hopping. I just know we had two tickets. Okay, I said like nothing for the past 10 minutes because I was having some uh, issues with my mouse. I realised it was moving slower than usual on my razor thing wasn't open properly. So all fixed now, but I've just been fiddling around with that while... AFK in these a bit. Not done too much alking. I think I just lost aggro. Oh, we finally saw a 35! That was an 1817 right there. Oh, it finally happened. Seen the max hit. Let's go. We're about five minutes off uh, attack level, apparently. And I can't imagine we'll have too far to go to the next one. We should be able to get it in today, I reckon. So I feel like if I was just doing the wilderness agility course on any normal account, you know, without a time limit or anything like that. What I would more than likely do is scout it out first every time. I'd probably spend half an hour there every time I was thinking about doing it without 
loot or anything, just see if it's busy, if there's people hopping through the world, or if it's absolutely ghost town like it has been the other times for me. And then if it's like quiet enough, then I would bring back an entry fee and stay for a while longer probably around an hour at a time before banking because at that point you don't want to be losing the profit. But on one hour limit lot, that's obviously not really an option. I can't exactly scout it before. I mean, I suppose I could on a different account, but that kind of defeats the spirit of the series. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that one because I don't want to end up in a situation like that again where I just don't even get my entry fee back, you know. So I'll have to have a think about that one. Maybe we do end up doing Regicide after all. Maybe we just catch it at a different time and it happens to be okay that day. Maybe I should do like my first five laps without paying the fee to see if anything happens. And then if nothing does, pay the fee. But then I'm still in the same position except it's going to take me longer to break even. It's a tough one. Thankfully there's no rush for it. We do need it before raids, but we need combat levels before raids. Too, so we need far more combat levels than we need agility levels. Regicide would get us another level, would be up to 58. Just need four levels then. And there's 62 attack. Ooh, it's going to be a tight one to get a level in. The XP tracker is saying 20 minutes if we stay at a solid 100k an hour, which is what we've been performing at here. I don't even know if I have 20 minutes of potions left though. I made less than usual because we came in late. I don't know, it's possible, but it's not a sure thing. Hopefully we can get it done though, and then maybe tomorrow we can uh, start the defender grind. However painful that is going to be. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it because I know I have to look forward to it for as long as I fucking can because I'm going to be dreading it soon enough. I'm going to be dreading going back to that place to try and get the next level defender over and over again. But right now, I'm not dreading it and thus the anticipation is killing me. Oh, how the mind works in weird and wonderful and wicked ways. Can I have a spirit, please? Where are all the dweebs? They're all dead. Why are they all dead? I'm actually not sure I made enough potions, and that might be the thing that stops me from getting a level. Because currently we're estimating about four minutes under the clock, which would be perfect for birdhouse runs. I just don't know if they have enough potions. Also, is that the first mithril ore I've ever had? No, we've had 16 mithril ore, wow. It's like two drops in all the time we've been here, which is now 1,124. We should be due another pair of sulfur blades sometime soon. It took us a while to get the first pair though. Not that they're worth a great deal, only about 20k. Oh my gosh, just got another drop of mithril ore. How weird is that? <laughs> After trash talking the rate of the myth ore drops. It's not even like myth's worth anything. Like, it's decent for an iron man, but it's not really worth anything on mains, so... It's like, yeah, iron's worth more than myth. It's not about... I mean, I get it, because steel makes cannonballs, but... It makes the drop rates for myth not really scale that well, in general. Or, like, mining it, totally pointless. Doing much with myth is pointless, right? Like, what the fuck do you do with myth? At least with Addy Bolts you can use those before you got DCB, but there's really no use for myth outside of a grapple, which is a one-time thing. I guess myth sapphire bolts. That's very niche, that's basically only for Musper. That I know of at least. Am I not aggroed? Man, I ran out again, it happened so fast. Still not confident about these potions. Just gonna keep stressing every time I look at them. Trying to dodge the prayer drains now as much as possible. Conserve as much of this prayer as I can. A lot of the time I'm killing them before they get to the prayer drains, so that's nice, but on the occasions where I don't do this sort of step away thing. Ooh, a hard clue! The most exciting thing that can happen here. It's an easy first step. Five minutes left to go on the tracker. We need 22 kills to get this level. We've got two potions left. It is tight, but I think we should be able to just about do it. 
Well, no, I think we might have just de aggroed again, but it's not worth resetting when there's so little time on the clock. We're just gonna manually do it from here. Do most of the time manually do it anyway, even when my auto retaliate is on. Alright, that was the last potion dose. Six kills on this prayer bar. And there it is 63 attack, 85 combat total. We could now do Lunar Diplomacy if we wanted to. Pretty sure that's the uh, requirement. Or maybe it's the one beyond that even. The one that gives you extra Lunar things. Not actually sure. Yeah, I think Combat 85 must be the second part of that. I can't remember what it's called. The one that unlocks uh, Super Glassmic. Interesting. So, we actually need to make ourselves the Ruby Dixite Necklaces. May as well do them all because I've got time, I reckon. Okay, and then we'll put one on and the rest away. We will get our birdhouse stuff, the dueling ring, and our darts and coins. And then we will go. Sorry, Flipper, not today. Don't have enough time left on my clock, mate. Oh my gosh. If I don't get this bird, I'll stun because of Flipper blocking me then, I swear to fucking god. <sighs> I don't even care, I'm placing it. Fuck that. There, I cheated. First time ever. We can't have a glue scroll! <gasps> Yeah, baby! Uh, weird ending, weird session in total, to be honest. Didn't go to plan at all. Did get 160k experience, though, so... If that's when a day doesn't go to plan, you can't really fucking complain, can you? 20k magic, standard hunter, plenty of farming. That's where some of it came in, I guess. We got an extra 20k there from our teaks. 25k in agility from the tickets there as well. So we had two big hand-ins today that gave us XP rewards. And then 62,000 attack XP just to top it off there. Brings us up to 63, which means we can finally get into the Warriors Guild. I'm just checking how many combat tasks I had in case I happen to be able to claim one while I'm there, but it doesn't look like I can. We could probably do that relatively easy though. 11 points is, is not that bad. But yeah, things are going good. We are still progressing onwards and upwards. I don't know why I'm doing this in song. We're at 1.2 mil with about 5 mil in miscellanea. Brings us to a total of 6.2. And it's worth noting that one of the items I was planning on getting, Blood Moon Top, has gone up in price a lot. When I first made the list, it was 1.2 mil and now it's 3.2 mil. So I can't decide if I'm going to use it. If I'm just going to use Blessed Dehyde for both. If I'm going to bring Obsidian or Barrow's gear for melee. I haven't made my mind up yet, uh, that's the only thing that's like up in the air about my build, but the rest of the items on the list are still at around the same price as when I wrote the list. So that's all good, we're still proceeding on track with, with the rest. And yeah, tomorrow I can say with certainty, because there's no risk involved in it, we will be going to the Warriors Guild. We're we'll going to the Warriors Guild tomorrow we'll be seeing how many defenders we can get. How many do you reckon on the first day, y'all? Do you reckon I get a single defender? I'm praying I do. You'll have to wait and see to find out, though. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the insane defender bonanza that is on the way, and like the video. Look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.